It's a little ball of spice that is often ground and used as a garnish for your eggs or your soup. But through history, it was worth its weight in gold. In fact, it was called black gold. Hi, I'm Minnie Menon and I'm going to tell you the tale of pepper, its Indian roots and how it shaped our history. The earliest reference to Indian pepper comes from the Valley of Kings in Thebes. Archaeologists studying the mummy of the great Egyptian pharaoh Ramesses II found a clutch of peppercorns holding up his aquiline nose. Ramesses II, who is known to the West as Ozymandias, reigned over Egypt between 1279 and 1213 BCE. This find showed that pepper, known in ancient Indian Ayurveda for its medicinal value, was used extensively in the embalming of mummies. Given that the primary source of black pepper is the Malabar region of Kerala, it is believed that pepper would have travelled from here through trade networks from the Harappan ports of present-day Gujarat or directly to ports across West Asia and Africa. Sadly, we have very little details about trade in this period as there are no records except remains like the peppercorns found in Ramesses' embalmed body. The earliest actual reference to pepper comes from the period of Roman trade when large quantities of pepper were shipped into the West. Soon it was realized that this was a spice that could also be used to cure and preserve meat. And this is what made it priceless. In the era before refrigeration, using pepper was the only way you could preserve meat. In fact, it is on the back of this commodity that the ports of Kerala rose. For example, Musiris, from where large quantities of pepper were shipped. This was considered one of the most important ports of the subcontinent by the Romans. So important was pepper that in 410 CE, when Rome was sacked by the Visigoths from the north, pepper figured prominently in their ransom list. Apart from gold, silver and silk, the Visigoth invaders also demanded 3,000 pounds of pepper to lift the siege on Rome. Pepper continued to be the most important export from the Indian subcontinent along with cotton for centuries to come. For much of the post-Roman era, the Arabs controlled the trade of this commodity and acted as a bridge between the ports in Kerala and the West. This trade also attracted Jews and the Chinese and by the 14th and 15th centuries, Calicut in Kerala became a cosmopolitan hub. But all of this also increased the landed cost of pepper in European cities. And it is in the search of this famous spice that the Portuguese sailed to India. In 1498, Vasco da Gama came via the sea route and landed in Calicut. This heralded the age of discovery. Between the 15th and 19th century, the Portuguese, the Dutch, French and British all came looking for pepper and as more of it poured back to Europe, demand skyrocketed. New pepper plantations were set up further east in Indonesia, Vietnam and far beyond. Today, India is not the largest producer of pepper, but Indian pepper continues to be a prized commodity. Pepper played an important role in our history. In fact, it made many a fortune and its story is closely intertwined with the story of India itself.